Hey everybody, if you want to know how to install some tow hooks when you have a truck, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Right, it's your man Tulip accompanying you with another vlog today. What I'm doing today is doing another modification on my truck. I thought I could just pop out plastic my uh, Silverado and add the tow hooks real easy. You see, it's hard. It doesn't have to pop out. I, look. I am in the process of, you know, getting the truck like I want it. Yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. Uh, the previous modifications I did, the uh, bow top, I, I blacked it out. This vinyl I ordered. Step rails, the side rails on the uh, truck. Hey, what I ordered, I ordered the OME. Uh, tow hooks for the 2020 Colorado I have and and probably later on this week I'm adding the uh, fog lights system to my vehicle through that essence of it I, I like fog lights no matter what vehicle I have but when I ordered the thing I ran into today I thought I could just pop out a uh, plastic my uh, Silverado and add the tow hooks real easy I already got my equipment. I got the 18 millimeter uh, socket wrench ready to go. You know, you see the missing from here, my 18 millimeter. But uh, I ran into a problem, like I said today. It wasn't nothing I couldn't figure out and fix. I searched and searched on, uh, uh, on on YouTube and on the internet and nobody was tackling this process uh, that I ran into. So I ruminated on it for my own self for a little bit and I just thought about, well, I could do it myself. First, I thought about, you know, going to the dealership and after I realized I didn't have to do that, I just went back to some of the YouTube channels that have similar vehicle. Mine is a LT Silverado that I'm modifying to make it what I want it to be is like the trail boss, you know, and I'm giving it that look step by step without having to pay that extra price for that package. You know, I got a pretty good package, a pretty good deal on mine, but what I'm doing is making it look like an authentic trail boss step by step. And eventually I'll be there. You no, know, I got the 5.3 liter eight cylinder engine V8. I got 20s on here. Yeah, I already got that. I got the step rails. I got the authentic Z71 and Trail Boss uh, tags on it. I chromed out the Chevrolet in the back. And now what I'm doing is adding the authentic tow hooks. I'm not dipping them, I'm not painting them. This is from the factory. What is actually owned from GM, General Motors. I'm an artist, I could draw anything. I looked at one who actually had them on, on YouTube and then I drew out me a stencil. That's the best way to say it. I made my own stencil for what I needed to do. Some of you may not artistic enough to do it. But all I did was actually trace that area, what I had, and I drew it on a piece of paper. And I drew the area needed to cut out on that. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, man. Left. And then I actually had needed to, uh, this was a stencil was left that I needed to, and all I have to do is flip it from the right side to the left side to uh, get it to where I needed it to be on either left or right. And it's working. So, with that said, you know how I cut through that hard plastic? Well, I drilled through it. Yes, I drilled through it and then I cut the, rem the remaining portion. Be careful, remaining portions uh, that I need and so that the uh, the stenciled design in in the uh, plastic and you can see 
as it is from it. It's actually working. And it actually looks pretty good. You see, I got the tow hook, you know, semi in. And it's done just like an authentic one. Hey, I got my son in here photobombing me, giving me sound effects. But anyway, on to the right side. That's the left side is almost complete. I just got to bolt it in and stuff, but yeah, it's always one way. You see, it's hard. It doesn't pop in, that pop out. I looked underneath, it doesn't, but what I'm doing, the approach I'm using is actually working. So I, I was gonna wait and pay for the uh, GM people to put it in for me, but then I said, you know what, bump that. I bought them so I could put them in, do the modification myself, so that's what I'm doing. There's always one way to do it, so. And it's gonna look professional, too. And then maybe later on, I'll get some foam, black foam and put it in between to black out the spacing that you see. But right now, it don't look that bad, okay? I was smoothing out my edges after I drilled uh, the uh, actual stencil design. And I have a pretty sharp uh, knife or an exacto blade you can use to, that's gonna help you smooth it out. Your edges, if you use this technique, it'll work fine. You can't tell, but this thing is really sharp. I had those little jagged edges because I drilled it out. You can see the pattern. And then with the knife, I just smooth it out on the inside. So now all I have to do is add the authentic toe hook into its position. It's not locked in there, but you can see it's a perfect fit. It's gonna look wonderful. Uh, gonna look even better because this spacing I got I'm gonna add black foam behind it so you won't see the spacing that I have there uh, now the next stage is to clean up my plastic cuttings and shavings that I got around here then get underneath here and, uh, Lock everything into place with the eight, 18 millimeter uh, wrench. And the 18 millimeter socket. So if you haven't done this already, please hit that like button and subscribe. You can tell it's hot out there, uh, but I'm trying to do this and listen to my music. So again, these are authentic toe hooks that I ordered from Jim. Cut it. Not yet. You have the long and short for both sides. Long and short for both sides. This one don't need this, because it goes, locks in, in the place, you just screw it in. But this one, the long one, it goes in the first part right here through here, and you lock that in with this. And that's what you use this for, to hold it in place. And then you tighten it up with this on the other side. I thought I was gonna go get some black paint, but I figured I got this, um, it's vinyl that'll black this out perfectly for me. And I'm gonna put it on top of this that was shipped with the authentic tow hooks. I put that on top of here. 
and then just cut out a little slit in between. So yeah, save time, money. Don't have to buy no paint. This is what I got. In the back, it just got a spacing. I just have two, I had three of these actually originally. So uh, when I ordered it, so uh, now all I got to do now is to uh, get it off of this piece of paper, slap it on this, uh, this makeshift foam. Yeah, all I got to do is get it off this piece of paper. There we go. And slap it onto this foam. Like this. Make sure it stays, it's right there. And all I got to do is cut this out. Then I make a slit in here. So when I attach the toe hook inside, it just be the backing behind here so you don't see no space. And I just cut it out with my sharp blade right here. Then I make a slit through here. See? Slit. It'll fit through there. As you can see, we got the cutout for the tow hook right here. We got to fit the tow hook in, into this position with these two holes. They're made the same way on all of them. But the tricky part is putting the black vinyl uh, up here before we put the tow hook in position. Both sides are the same. So, yeah. Place it in here. And we try to fit this through the slit. Without tearing it up, you know, it's not, you see it's not that thick of a foam piece. We just put the vinyl on top. So it, uh, you won't see no spacing or air between there. Uh, I'm doing this upside down, so bear with me. We'll get it. And we're going to do a time lapse on this portion. This bolt right here is in the way of me tur uh, turning a, a wrench socket to get it tight, but we finally got it through. Uh, this is the long bolt, this is the short bolt, and you use the wrench to secure it on the other side. On the right side, on the passenger side, I've got to accomplish the same thing I just did. Uh, seemed like a lot, but it's not actually as worth it for the look that I'm going for to give it that authentic trail boss look. Got the tow hooks on and the next thing we'll be adding is the fog lights. 
uh, probably this week sometime. So, on to the next side. Uh, you can't see me right now, but you can see my fingers. We got them tow hooks locked and loaded on the vehicle. First this morning, I was ruminating, thinking how am I gonna do it? But now you can see they're tight, secure, and they ready to tow if I have to. One thing, this is uh, something that I, I, I'm starting to enjoy, so yeah let's go get out and see how it look initially Woo all right we did it toe hooks in place Ugh. how they thing look boy look at this thing look i got my toe hooks in yeah just the little thing the little thing and blacked out got the spacings right there you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? This side I could tighten up a little more. Guess I do that. And this side I know. I know it's locked. I know it's tight. Yeah. Don't worry about seeing the license plate. That's gonna change this week. Yeah. Now I'll be adding those uh, fog lights next. That's, that's coming this week too, so. Yeah, it took me a little longer than expected, but because uh, I had to figure out how to get through that hard plastic after I ruminated about it, thought about it, came up with a master plan, used my hammer drill after I made a stencil of the form for that, some vinyl that I had left over from blacking out the bow tie to do the backing. Once I cut an area for the toe hooks, I got my toe hooks on there, man. It's always a way to see nobody out there that could tell me how to how to mod your LT uh, Silverado that doesn't have the toe hooks with the package. I got a big package on here. I got a lot of bells and whistles on here, almost like a LTZ. But now I'm making this into a trail boss, and it's going to be there. You know, I got the uh, got everything on there. I got everything a trail boss to have. I just got to uh, probably do the two inch leveling in the front. But other than that, I got me a trail boss, y'all. Nobody can tell me no different. What you think I got? I got them 20 inches on there. I got that Z71 on there. I got the trail boss on there. I got the, uh, you know, step rails on there. And I just put the uh, toe hooks in there. Got the cover. Got to clean that out. Uh, husky liner in the back. Chromed out the back. Trail box on the side. We getting there. I might go to the off-road eventually. But right now, we'll just go with the regular Bridgestone tire Z71 on there. Got my toe hook, my red authentic, not painted, not coated. It's the ones from the factory. Not painted, not coated. It's the toe hooks from the factory I got on here. Yeah. Next thing, fog lights from the factory. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button and subscribe. This is a channel that does whatever I'd like. It's my channel. So uh, I do uh, truck modifications now. I do uh, gardening. I do uh, reactions. I do family vlogs and so on. So if you're down for it, hit the like button, subscribe. I am Mr. Tulip with this fresh uh, truck update modification on how to do your mods on your Silverado to have them authentic tow hooks. Peace.